Although Krotos managed to escape, the Horde continued on a glorious triumphal march. Now the time had come to set an example. A deed of particularly heinous evilness would inspire the creatures of the Horde to greater things. To this purpose, the Horde moved deep into the wealthy heartland of the Alliance. It was on the hunt for a creature whose sugar-sweet kindness and cordiality would rot the tusks of an orc. A unicorn. The Horde had grown impressively. Many goblins and nagas had joined the military evil's army, but evil was still not satisfied. To evolve any further, a particularly vile act would be needed. There was an enchanting fairy-like being in these lands, whose goodness oozed out through its every pore. The death of the unicorn would inspire the Horde to even greater deeds. Moreover, its head would look really nice hung over the fireplace. However, this creature was not only strong, but it possessed an inner magic that could become even the most vicious orc and make it change allegiance. Help would be required in order to ensure the Horde wasn't transformed into a pathetic heap of flower-gathering hippies. Some creatures had been hiding in a secret room. They joined the ultimate evil. Rumor had it there was an ancient cave here, once inhabited by orcs. Perhaps the ultimate evil would find some answers there. Just realized I skipped a paragraph, sorry. <clears throat> there were three upwardly mobile alliance cities in the vicinity. Previously, these have been industrial centers with well-regulated trades. However, in recent years, the banking industry had grown exponentially, and so now all the inhabitants worked for the banking sector. These cities have been networked together via a well-guarded road system, colloquially referred to as Wall Street. Is this really relevant? I don't think so.
Royal Aid had reached one of the threatened banks in the shape of a gold-laden donkey. A well-functioning financial bubble like that would always be a law not just to bankers, but to heroes as well, looking for somewhere to store the proceeds of their last foray. Once this was done, they marched straight for the nearest dungeon. Unfortunately, that belonged to the ultimate evil, and as dungeons go, would prove a very hard nut to crack. The ultimate evil would not permit any further gold transports to reach a bank in distress. This was in order to prevent the emergence of any more heroes. Greedy people were challenging the mean evil's use of space underground. They would soon learn, in an extremely painful manner, that the evil simply wasn't interested in sharing. There are enemies in your dungeon. last worker had been expelled from the gold mine. This underground area was now held firmly in the iron grip of the ultimate evil. Well, it's in the hand of terrors actually, as evil wasn't so hot at moving around.
Once again, a gold transport was required. It's payday. Some creatures had been hiding in a secret room. They joined the ultimate evil. That orc cave had still not been investigated by the creatures of the ultimate evil. It was clear that something important that needed to be found was hidden there.
payday. Suddenly, the creatures of the abominable evil itched all over and started scratching their bodies. This was bound to have been caused by the presence of the nauseatingly good unicorn rubbing off on them. Somewhere in the underground, there was rumored to be a cave full of spiders guarding an exit to the surface.
spiders have spread throughout the underground. It's payday. <laughs> 